Wish popping. What's going on in the life of the Capricorn between the 15th and the 30th of November? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Are y'all ending cycles going into new ones? Hmm. Hmm. Are y'all getting out of this place of feeling stuck like spirit? What the hell am I supposed to do? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. Hey, boo, hey. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, I'm Mocha. Also, look out. This first time viewing my channel. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing does not work for you, please find one of these other beautiful readers on YouTube who can resonate with you more, okay, without the profane language, because I'm going to use it. I got to be authentic with me, my authentic self cuss, okay? So with that said, this will be for my beautiful Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Capricorn between the 15th and the 30th of November. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. I just recently opened up emergency reading, so I'm kind of um kind of make bringing some structure to how I do things okay uh so um you need that reading hit me up this is just general all right this will not resonate with everybody please watch your sun moon rising as well as your green signs um and we're gonna keep it rocking all right so let's get it um new subscribers y'all why even get it popping thank you so much y'all welcome to the family we 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 a little dysfunctional over here okay um <laughs> I'm still trying to put things in order, y'all, but we don't fuss and fight. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? We do share. We love. We grow. We evolve. We enlighten one another. Y'all, this is a journey for us all, and we are family, okay? If you're not pulled to my energy or gravitated to me for no reason, we soul family. Get what I'm saying? So with that said, understand that I can't tell you shit that I ain't went through myself. You did? This is a journey for us all, and I'm still going through things. This Venus in Scorpio, let me tell you something. Honey, honey, child, honey, honey, boo boo, child. This shit has been heavy, heavy, heavy. It's been so heavy, baby. But a hell of a detox is needed. Um, My spirit guys really want Capricorn, and I think this is just really general. I feel it for everybody. There's a need for something about a lemon, lemons, 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 lemon water. If you've been um, looking for a detox, naturally, spirit says uh, lemon water. Also, a lot of you all are really needing to take spiritual bath during this time for clarity because you have an all-knowing, but you're choosing to stay in this period of confusion. And I don't know the hell why. Spirit says you can be free. Uh, well, meditating on your energy, Capricorn. Honestly, I wasn't going to do intuitive messages for Capricorn. But what I felt for you guys was this feeling of stuck. Spirit is releasing you from feeling in any type of like bondage to people. This goes for married people. This goes for people with children. This goes for people with friendships. Any of the ships, okay? Some of y'all got to jump off the ship in order to free yourself, okay? Take it how it resonates, all right? Don't come for me. I just work here. I'm just the messenger. OK, um, but y'all, it's time to really get real and truly understand and be accepted and receive inside journeys. Some of you all, the fact that I kept seeing the birth canal, some of you all may be having babies during this time. And congratulations, because Mocha love the kids. OK, we got some kids. Bring them here. I'm going to feed them fried chicken and lollipops because I'm from the country and I'll probably do country shit. But I love the kids. OK, um, y'all, this is the time to laugh. Even when you may feel like you can't find shit to laugh at, at during the situation, okay? Um, a lot of you all are going to be very reflective during this time. And it's really reflecting on where you've been to truly appreciate how far you've come and where you're going. And some of y'all, you have an intro norm with knowing you got to let some things go. It's uncomfortable, you know, but being a cardinal that you are, you got to push forward and really lead your own ship and create your own path. And it's about recreation during this time, however that means, whatever that means to you. So let's rock out. Right, so spirit, please give me the messages, spirit messages. Divine, what is it that you need me? Son of Capricorn, Son of Mother, and Venus, to know between the 15th and the 30th of November. Yeah, some of you all, it's a journey, baby. <laughs> it's about this really, really, really reflecting where I've come, where I'm going, and where can I see myself. A lot of y'all are going to be really focused on your life purpose and what is, you know, your life path during this time. What the hell? Excuse me, y'all. Y'all going to see my water and all my little cup in the back of my business. I've been detoxing my damn self. Okay, so 
a lot of you all, a lot of you all are really going to be balancing the scales. If there were any negative situations that you've been holding on to and really not really extracting it and letting it go during this time, a lot of you all are going to be gaining a different perspective. This could come through the form of a dream. Some of you all may even see your ancestors come to you, talking to you during the form of a dream. I'm seeing like a father figure, um, grandfather, brother, okay? Some of you all, you're really needing to speak your truths and really needing to live in your truths in order to recreate your world in the way that you want them to go. I feel like some of you all have really been like battling the the, the, the light side and the dark side of yourselves. I feel like some of you all, there could be someone in your energy manipulating, trying to manipulate a particular circumstance to go the way that they want it to go, but spirit is saying no more. Some of you all, during this time, your crown chakra is going to be on fire. If you feel this little tingling, like in the midst of your head up in here, um, some of you all may be pressured. Some of you all may, um, your third chakra will be expanding. And so there is a need for you all to really be outside, but there's a truth that you're that's, that's going to be spoken in order to release you from this feeling of stagnancy. I feel like some of you all, you're going to be receiving it from your ancestry first, like in the form of a dream. Some of you all got a lot of air energy around y'all. Some of you all during this time, again, that go there reflective, okay? Some of you all are really needing to be reflective, all right? And not in a... Um, in a way that, you know, you're being remorseful or feeling bad for anything that has happened in the past, feeling like, okay, it's my fault that this didn't work out. Hell no. There's a lesson in every blessing, baby, and you just got to be willing to shift your perspective and see the lesson during this time because, again, a lot of you all are in the spirit of remorse, like, oh, shit, this is all my fault. If I'd have done this, then shit wouldn't. Spirit wants you to come out of this dark place. Some of you all may be seeing crows during this time. You really need, A lot of y'all have crows as your animal totem, um, sun, moon, or rising Capricorn. You're really needing to um, really look up what the hell the crows mean. For some, in some religions, they feel like crows means death or things of that nature. But this could also be your ancestral who passed uh, who passed on from the other side. This could also be for some of you all who could have lost a child. You could really you really been in this dark place about losing a child, but spirit is trying to give you a form of newness. For some of you all who are discovering you're pregnant, okay, this is this could also be the reincarnated child because I am here in reincarnation. So some of you all have a child that. Could have possibly could have had a miscarriage in the past, but this child is really trying to come forward. You could also be some of you all who have also lost a mother figure. That crow. She's connected to that crow, especially if she's been coming to your dreams or she's going to be coming to your dreams during this time. And it's like, I feel like it's connected to another full moon or this could have happened with the last full moon. But something, some type of truth was illuminated. This could also have to do with your children. You really need to be receiving to spirit during this time, Capricorn. They're really trying to change your life, but it's all how you look at it. There's a spiritual union trying to take place, okay? And this could be... Um, some of you all are being blocked during due to current situations where you know that you're not happy in Capricorn. It's about taking on some of this Aryan energy that I got and a whole lot of fuck it. Two tears in a bucket. If I can't change the situation yet, I can recognize that it's making me unhappy. It's something that's within me that needs to change. Why the fuck do I feel stuck? Because on the cool, I'm really sticking myself. It's how you choose to look at it. Why ask yourself first, am I afraid of what's to come? Because blind faith is going to lead you into beautiful destinations during this time. But you, the belief and the trust in your faith starts with you. A lot of y'all crown chakra going to be popping and very revealing. So you can fight it. But you already seen it. So you know when it pop off, why be mad if you've seen it already? you already tired of putting in the damn work. Some of y'all kicking over buckets and putting in two weeks notices with people in your damn head. But you're not speaking it. This is a time of revelation. You're going to speak it. Spirit, what's to come for my Capricorns, my beautiful Capricorns in love between the 15th and the 30th of November? What can they expect in love? Air, earth, fire, water, and ether. Show me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For some of you all, you got to be real with yourself. Is there an equal level of give and take? Some of you all are going to be reassessing how much you're giving and how much you're receiving, especially if you have children with the person or you could be dealing with the sign of cancer. Some of you all have, um, some of you all really want to be with your twin flame, okay? But some of you all, you may feel like you have an arrogant ass Virgo or an arrogant ass Aries or a Gemini in your energy. But some of you all, you're going to find out that you're dealing with the sign of, um, 
Virgo or Cancer. And this person, maybe you've been in your head about moving away uh, from this person, or this person has been in their head about moving away from you. Some of you all are very uh, defensive during this time I'm also seeing, and you're kind of defensive towards love, even though you're being defensive towards a person, yet you're watching what the hell they're doing. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's like I feel literally like a game of tug of war. Um, happening. Some of you all, you have a Gemini stalking you, straight like that. But some of you all, it's a Cancer. Some of you all, there's a Cancer that wants to move towards you during this time. They want to come forward, but you may feel that some of you all, this Cancer feels that you're arrogant and that you're controlling. Some of you all, there's a there's a power struggle between you and a Gemini during this time, and this person is watching you. And I feel like it's because they feel that you've been defensive lately, and so both of you have been in your damn head. Some of you all are kind of in your head regarding a decision that's needing to be made about an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you all have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You really want to move forward toward this person. You could have children with this person as well. This person is definitely a soulmate. However, there's not an equal level of give and take. I feel like somebody drains the other's energy and some of y'all are going to make a decision. Some of y'all are really trying to hold on to somebody, okay? Some of y'all could possibly be in y'all head about an air sign. Intuitively, you know an air sign finna pull a funny. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So when I say a funny, this person is probably finna hit the deck on your ass. Some of y'all gonna come home to a dear John letter, or this person may leave in a cowardly way, um, or may leave in a very malicious way to the point where you're having to recover and pick up the pieces after the fact. Some of y'all actually may be, um, some of y'all may be, yeah, some of y'all may be, um, kind of like watching a fire sign because this person has been very defensive towards you some of y'all gonna find out that you got a capricorn towards virgo and your energy holding on to you for financial reasons i feel like you or this person have options however somebody keeps allowing this third party energy and that's what i felt a feeling of stuff you could be married to this person and have children with this person but there's a there's a very 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 strong aspect of what is everybody gonna think capricorn you don't want to be seen as a failure um however it's a it's really a need to be happy on your on your end and the other person's end. Um some of y'all have some of y'all have questions, okay? Uh and this is regarding possibly an Aries and a Gemini. Some of y'all have been having dreams of like some type of revelation. Some, during this time y'all gonna have revelation like revelation like dreams and this could be with this ancestor coming in that's revealing things about your children or maybe um like if you have um, little children or like children that are between the ages of like 11, maybe 10 and like 16, or you have adult children, some of y'all are going to be finding out some really harsh truths and you're not going to know which way is left and which way is right. Spirit says, follow your heart and trust your intuition, which you felt the first time. Some of y'all are really tied to a very toxic ass energy regardless. And you really need to free yourself. And since some of you guys are not taking the steps to free yourself, spirit is going to intervene and free yourself on your damn behalf because you have a new beginning. You have somewhere to be. You have passionate, new, new, new shit waiting on you. Things that you that is worth your energy, that is worth you giving to. However, some of y'all want to hold on to situations because maybe you're financially tied to someone else. But you're needing to get some damn reducing research because your intuition is telling you some funny shit going to pop off and you're absolutely right. And it could involve a child, okay? Especially if you're dealing with an Aquarian or a, uh, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, I feel that some of you all, you have someone, an earth sign. This person could be a little bit more financially stable. Or this person could be a bit more secure than you financially. Maybe your ego is not allowing you to move toward this person because you're like, I just want everything to be perfect. But for some of you, spirit is working for you you not against you just trust the process you have to be willing just as much as you give it's okay to be receiving capricorn because for some of you it's some dead ass truth this truth could also involve a fire sign aries leo sag or something or someone that you're passionate about okay or around a certain situation some of you all you've been waiting for a job to call you that job is going to call you but it's going to come you have to give something up it's sacrifice time all right, it's sacrifice season, Capricorn, but you're sacrificing for your highest good. And again, it has to do with ending cycles and moving forward, knowing that you will be abundantly stable by your damn self. You will be abundant. You'll be happy. You'll be fearless and moving forward fearlessly because there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Some of y'all want to move forward towards an Aquarian. Some of y'all want a damn Leo, but some of y'all are not speaking the truth. There's boundaries that's needing to be set. 
people needing to be cut in order for you to get to this damn ace of cups okay because i have all the aces on the board capricorn so it's all about new 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 shit only what are you holding on to that old shit for are you afraid of your own success to truly win a war of the pull and the push and pull of the damn ego capricorn if you want to win drop the rope <clears throat> same thing with an argument a motherfucker can't argue by themselves if they are you need to go research some shit in your local city you know well, where you can get them the proper help okay because we we, we 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 it's about truth out here okay and what is your truth what makes you happy what do you want capricorn if you believe and stop juggling the idea even though you you just you just focus a lot of y'all just focusing on your damn money but some of you, you're juggling two people. This could be earth and water, or this could be happening to you, seeing that you are the earth. You're going to find out about it because truth is going to fall, fall right in your lap. And I feel like a lot of your ancestors are trying to get your damn attention. Like, hey, see me, I got something to tell you. But a lot of you all are not sleeping. Take your ass to bed. Warm tea, chamomile, Himalayan salt, sea salt baths. A lot of y'all really need to spiritually clean so that you can see things more clearly and focus your intention on what it is that you want. And open your heart up to spirit so they can bestow on you what your heart truly desires. I love you, Capricorn. This is what I have for you between the 15th and the 30th of November. If you need that personal, please feel free to hit me up. That information will be found in the description. And until next month, much love, much light, many blessings to you, baby, and namaste. Bye, babies.